episode 30. This episode is about using bots on Steemit to upvote or promote your content. And a kind of a both sides of the fence opinion on it, really, because I don't use them very often. I initially did when I first got on to Steemit just to have a play and see how it worked. Try and get used to the idea of sending transfers to another account. And also it's nice to see your post go up and, and get votes on it and get additional money. But over time, doing some research, um, you start to hear, you know, things being said in the community. So you start to see posts like, don't use votes selling bots, use app promoted instead of bot that upvotes when you burn money. Don't use um, up, upvote bots are a problem because content that the community did not vote for. For some people, it's great because they can promote their great content that they worked hard to do. And then you've got bots like Rando Whale, uh, Belly Rub. And services like Minnow Booster, which actually as part of a plugin is is kind of uh, used to promote posts. So if I go to one of my posts here, uh, they've actually got it embedded into their into their program. You see here at the bottom there's another button called Boost. And if I click on that, that'll come up and say Boost with Minnow, Minnow Booster. And I know there's a lot of people using this and using some of their SBD. I'm not sure you can use Steam. No, you can use just your SBD. And that gets sent to Minnow Booster, and then they have a group of people that upvote it and promote it. Now, the thing with that is that every time you're sending some money out of your account, you're loading somebody else's account with Steam or Steam back dollars, and obviously helping that account to get bigger. So something like Minnow Booster, for instance, um, let's just have a look at their stats. They have got... 6,723 followers with 51,000 posts. And yet they're not following anybody. So their upvote at 96% up at the top here, because we've got the plugin installed, is $41 for a 96% vote. Now, the way a lot of these bots work is that if you read through them, the details, you send them some money, and then it's a bit of a gamble as to when you catch the, the bot at the right time, and it gives you an upvote of a certain amount of money. So you put some money in, and you get a certain amount back. That doesn't necessarily mean if you send 20 SBD that you're going to get 20 dollars of upvote so some of these are a bit of a gamble but also getting into that kind of headspace for a minute what is it that we're really trying to do when we're sending some of our own earnings that we've earned on our posts maybe from just organic traffic and we're sending it to somebody else to then upvote our other stuff how does that affect the rewards pool as a whole so i've kind of turned off against going for upvoting bots because i agree with people out there that organic content should rise to the top naturally and obviously some people who are coming onto the platform very early on you're not getting seen because a lot of the higher ranking people the ones with reputation that have been on for a year or two years they're high up and they're getting big curation rewards because their wallet their steam power for instance here like minnow booster steam power is 127,000 steam and their account is worth 139,000. so they have a lot of curation power on the platform if you go to their blog even if they just do a blog on the platform, they're getting somewhere around $100 per each one of their blog posts, which is a hell of a, a lot of, of amount of money. But they're doing that because their curation rewards are so high. So, for instance, here, $109, and it's been upvoted you know, by 888 people. So that's, that's a, a big network of people that they can reach out to to upvote their own posts. So I'm not calling anybody out particularly here. It's just that there is services that exist out there. Jerry Banfield has done a massive job. If you can, I can't read through the whole of Jerry's post because it's so damn long. But if you really want to go deep on this topic, do a search for boost posts on Steam. And you can see he's written a hell of a lot of stuff about upvoting bots and how they work. And uh, how they make money and all the different upvote bots that are out there. And he's even got like, uh, there's a Steam upvote bot tracker, if we go here, which tracks all of the uh, the bots and how much you can expect to get from each one of them if you really want to go into that detail and find out that information. Um, that's it for this episode. I'll catch up with you in the next one. See ya. Bye.